Welcome back. So continuing from last time with um, the tweaks I needed to do with the side sticks. These are the sliders that um, sort of actuate the aileron control. And when I did them a long time ago, there was some um, friction in there, and I ended up, you know, widening out the slot too much for the bearings that I had, and so it created some play. So what I'm doing now is actually widening it out a little further and changing the bearings to a metric one. So going from a three uh, bearing to a ten mil uh, bearing and hopefully that'll uh, tighten everything back up again but anyway I had to go up to Brits and do that on his um, bridge port and so this is one of them now with the new bearings in there sort of switch over to metric so 5 mil bolts with 10 mil bearings and um, it's looking pretty good but still have to do some work there because uh, when the um, bridge port runs down there it doesn't create the smoothest surface there uh, so you know I still have to do some hand work on there with some filing and sanding on those uh, edges there and the new torsional uh, coupling showed up so I took it down to the uh, machine shop across the highway to talk to them about doing the mods for it so we've got to you know drill some holes in that flat plate and drill some holes in the center thing and they all have to be perfectly aligned and have to take the edge of the flange off of this thing because it's the diameter is slightly too big but anyway that's going to all happen and uh, so here's that uh, slider again now, and as you can see there I've put um, some marker black marker on that channel there it's a bit difficult to see with the focus but and uh, you know just gone down with the file there real quickly and you can see all those little ridges in there that's from the bridge port so i've just got to file those down so it's nice and smooth that way the bearing will uh, run across there nicely without creating sort of any uh, uh, friction or chatter so i had to do that by hand on those and uh, do a couple of other little tweaks to those to get them to work smoothly but uh, overall it's been about, I don't know, half a day or more just getting that dialed in. And uh, meanwhile, Jeff's been working on these little um, brackets here to bolt around the winglets so we can um, put a cable between the two there and, and uh, you know, pull them together like it would be loading up and be able to see what sort of twist we're getting in the wing itself. So um, that's coming up shortly, you'll see that. But we won't be able to do our final testing on that until the spring scale that I ordered arrives uh, probably next week. And uh, Devin's been working on finishing off the last of these um, access panels here. He's got nut plates in that one there and he's got to do the others. The other two, these, this one's been done. And uh, he's just also creating the actual cover plates themselves. And that stick on stuff there, we took that off. That was going to be for doing the wet layup, but uh, didn't do it that way, so that came off. And so here you can see Jeff's got uh, one of these on there, just sort of bolted around there. And he, you know, he actually um, created sort of a, a Im or embedded in that um, those two by fours uh, with some compound, so they're fitting nicely, not sort of just putting a, a load, you know, unevenly on the winglet there. So um, anyway, you'll see in a second when we put the cable across there. And here's Devin. He's got the last of his cover plates uh, done there and just got to drill the matching holes in those and then um, put the nut plates on the lower wing skin uh, uh, there uh, for each of those. So here we got a, the uh, little inclinometer there on there and just got the cable running between the two and this is just a preliminary test this isn't the final test we just wanted to see what happens when we put a little bit of uh, load on there so um, and once we once we actually did it we ended up getting about um, one or sorry a tenth of a degree of um, nose up washout on the uh, wings on the uh, tips there which is actually the opposite of what we're looking for so Mark's going to do some more review in the CAD there and tell us exactly what load we want to put on when the spring comes and we'll have more for you on that later and uh, here's Jeff creating a proper um, sort of um, bonded in thing there for where we're going to be able to put this um, the counterweight that we need and this is what I ordered ordered four bags of this for 50 pounds mainly there's probably going to be some ballast in the nose all the time um, at least you know when there's only one person flying but we want extra ballast in the nose um, when we're doing the test flying just in case you definitely want to have a forward CG for your first flight um, and you can always take some out if the nose is not coming off when you expect it to. So yeah, those, those came in the UPS there, or sorry, USPS. 
And uh, by the end of the day today, I got all the sticks back together and everything connected back up again. I still got a little bit of play in there, but it's not as bad as it was. Um, and that's as good as I'm going to be able to get it. And other than that, the um, there's no play in the, um, or really hardly any play at all in the elevator control. So a little bit in the aileron, but next thing I have to do now is fix up this problem with those cables moving um, that I showed you last time. So I'll be working on that tomorrow. So anyway... Not much going on really, not super exciting, but that's our update for the first half of this week and just fix some problems and there'll be more at the end of the week. So thanks again for watching.